Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Gospel Reflection. Today's Gospel is Luke chapter 6, verses 27 to 38. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Jesus said to his disciples, I say this to you who are listening. Love your enemies. Do good to those who hate you. Bless those who curse you. Pray for those who treat you badly. To the man who slaps you on one cheek, present the other cheek too. To the man who takes your cloak from you, do not refuse your tunic. Give to everyone who asks you, and do not ask for your property back from the man who robs you. Treat others as you would like them to treat you. If you love those who love you, what thanks can you expect? Even sinners love those who love them. And if you do good to those who do good to you, what thanks can you expect? For even sinners do that much. And if you lend to those from whom you hope to receive, what thanks can you expect? Even sinners lend to sinners to get back the same amount. Instead, love your enemies and do good, and lend without any hope of return. You will have a great reward, and you will be sons of the Most High, for he himself is kind to the ungrateful and the wicked. Be compassionate as your Father is compassionate. Do not judge, and you will not be judged yourselves. Do not condemn, and you will not be condemned yourselves. Grant pardon, and you will be pardoned. Give, and there will be gifts for you, a full measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over. This will be poured into your lap because the amount you measure out is the amount you will be given back. The Gospel of the Lord. Luke's version of the Beatitudes puts the emphasis not on Christian attitudes as Matthew's version does, but on the blessing on those in real dire need. Now Luke continues this with our duty to respond to those in need, even if they are hostile, even if they hate us. There must be no calculation whether we will get back money or property lent. No limit on how much we lend or give. At first, it seems that Luke is concerned only with money. And indeed, he is so concerned, for he is always warning of the danger of possessions and the need to use them for those who have none. Luke is proclaiming Christ's good news to a more affluent society than Mark or Matthew, and places all the more emphasis on the danger of wealth. But after dealing with money, Luke goes on to other acts of generosity. We must not judge, but must forgive in order to obtain forgiveness. Most of all, we must be compassionate. Whereas Matthew ends his instructions here with the general, be perfect as your heavenly father is perfect. Luke, as we hear here in today's gospel, focuses on compassion. 
be compassionate just as your father is compassionate. It is an affair of the heart. We must be emotionally involved with those in need. The gospel challenge today, how can I help those in need? In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Thank you for joining me for our gospel reflection today. Look forward to seeing you tomorrow. And as I always say, have a great day and take care. God bless. Mm -hmm.